I'm struggling a little bit. Maybe uh, once a fortnight, I'll, I'll, I'll use heroin. Steve has used heroin for more than 20 years. You seem to just be stuck in it. At the start of this year, at the age of 45, he had a heart attack. That was very scary and traumatic. To me, it's a warning that I have to take care of my health and look after myself better. Do you fear dying as a result of your addiction? Yes. My body's telling me that I can't, I, I can't do this no more, you know, I can't, I can't keep it up. Last year, in England and Wales, there were more than 3,700 deaths relating to drug use, with heroin users the largest single group. Deaths involving crack and cocaine showed the sharpest rise, up 16%, and the highest death rate was among 40 to 49-year-olds, for the first time overtaking deaths among people in their 30s. There's an ageing, heroin-using population that are suffering from uh, physical health issues such as lung disease and hepatitis. And we need to work together to ensure that physical and mental health needs are met alongside substance misuse treatment. But local councils now provide the money for public health programmes like drug addiction services, and that means funding is under pressure. They're being squeezed and squeezed. There's no central money, no central government money like there used to be for drug treatment services. It's all been devolved to local authorities. And of course, as we know, local authorities are under huge pressure. Steve did finally get the rehabilitation he needed last year. Yeah, you have to have a plan for the future, you know. You have to uh, work hard to stay clean. I think I'm on that path now, even though it's a, a wavy path sort of thing. But yeah, definitely. There is hope. Deaths from drugs have now reached their highest level since records began in 1993. Getting more addicts the help they need will be the only way of reversing this trend. Catherine Jones, 5 News.